it is inevitable that Netflix is going to show ads. Four or five years ago, uh, I came home and told my kids, the CFO of Netflix is going to join our board. And my son's visceral reaction, who was about 10 years old at the time, said, oh no, please don't tell me you're gonna put ads on Netflix, dad. And I think his reaction basically summarizes the way most people respond when they hear that Netflix may have to put ads on their site. But I'd like you to consider that it might be actually a very good thing, and you're actually going to want it, and here's why. What if you only saw one ad or something like, like it per commercial break, and as a result of seeing that ad, you were able to double the amount of content that you had access to? And also, what if that ad was highly relevant to you? So unlike the ads that you see on linear television where the ads are not relevant at all, and in fact you watch a bunch of ads that are for products that you would never buy in your entire life, but instead, the ads were only about things that you care about. If, if that's all we showed you, would, are you in? Would you welcome seeing an ad in exchange for double, double the content? And that's exactly what consumers would prefer. When you give them the choice of seeing ads or paying a premium to avoid them, most of them say, I'd rather see the ads. So the only way to preserve this, the golden era of television, is if Netflix and everybody else offers a variety of packages, which are, you can either pay a premium and not see any ads at all, or you can pay a hybrid where you pay some amount and see limited ads, or in many cases, I think they're gonna offer you something that's free, and then you have to see an ad load that isn't that different than what you saw in linear television, except there will be fewer ads, slightly fewer ads, and they'll all be way more relevant which overall creates a better experience because right now the content is at an all-time high in terms of its quality, but it is also at an all-time high in terms of its cost. And the only way that we can continue to afford it is if we find innovative ways to pay for it. And it's gonna be easier to show ads than it is to ask the consumer for another dollar because Netflix has already had to raise its prices six times in the last couple years. And I don't think that there's that much room to keep doing that.